May the Lord God bless you. Another brand new day. It is August 13th and this is the 225th drop of the living water. We are watching and praying. Not to be tempted. That is the one and only key. So we already learned the areas, couple of areas that we need to watch to be awake and aware. Physical sleepiness, emotional and mental sleep and deceitful. Remember the mind is desperately sick and it is deceitful. So it takes us all around the world but not to focus the Lord God and our eternal life. So the, the next thing is the thoughts that where does it come from? From the enemy, from the Lord God or from me? And how to know? And are we believing a lie? So all these thought process, we must be awake and aware. And also we learn that the things around us, the surrounding environment. For example, we talked about the, the, this pandemic. So these things are the places that we need to awake and aware and watch. Why? Everything affects us. So the temptation is right there. So we must get rid of it and avoid it. That is what the advice from Christ Jesus. Watch and pray. Today, let's talk another thing that is so important. It is all about my life and your life. Just take a couple of minutes and think what are the things that continuously happening in your life. Let me give you some examples. I still couldn't find the marriage partner. Everything comes to a certain point but it breaks up. It doesn't happen. And my marriage life is always conflicts and arguments and agreement, disagreements. I get fed up. We are praying for years, but we still don't have children. I cannot pass this exam. How many times I did? I studied hard, but no, I couldn't do that. And I still don't get a job. I have all the qualifications I need. More than enough qualifications. Sometimes I'm overqualified, but still don't get a job. Sometimes I get a job, but within months, it's ended up for no reason. Sometimes... Can't understand why it happens over and over again. I uh, put the foundation for this house. For many years ago, I still could not develop the walls still. I am dreaming about this house, but how long? So all these things. And I, again, sicknesses, one after the other, one after the other. Why is that? You know, so many enemies around us, they are against, they have something against me. Why all these things happening? So if that is you, just awake and stop. Do not go to the next step. We have to stop here and think, what is the message? There's a message behind all these things. If that thing happen always, we got something wrong in the past. My dear child, I'm telling you with the responsibility, that is the word of God says that there's something wrong. Until you correct that, until that is corrected, you cannot go forward. That's why he is giving you an, another opportunity. Stop it. Think back and find out where you got wrong. And he, for sure, he will show you. If you watch and pray, he will definitely show you, my child, this is where you got wrong. You must correct this one. Without doing that, you cannot move on. So that's why everything is wrong and wrong and again wrong. So we have to watch. Awake and aware. So that is one group. Everything is negative. Doesn't work. Don't know why. I'm getting fed up. So they have to stop and think and he will find out. He will show you what the mistake in the past. And he definitely help you to get 
it corrected. At the same time, there's another group. They, on the other hand, they say that we don't know about law. Is that in the Bible? Oh, that's in the Old Testament. We don't care about that. We are in the grace period. You know what? We don't go, um, we don't uh, do all these things. We don't keep Sabbath. But still, you know what? We pray whenever we feel like. We read the Bible once in a while. But look at this. Everything is okay. My family life is okay. We are lovely and peacefully living. And children are studying. And look what I have. My house is built and loans are paid off. And we are okay. So I want to wake you up. If that is you, you must stop and awake. Why I am saying this? Because that is not from the Lord God. If anything comes from the Lord God, it is always, always in line with the word of God. If you don't keep commandment, if you don't keep Sabbath day holy, if you don't even know what is the law, if you don't even watch and pray, I understand everything worldly is successful, tick, tick, tick marks. But you have to awake and aware. Watch who is embracing you. Is that the Lord God or the enemy disguised as an angel of light? Stop and think and awake. That is the place that we need to watch and pray. If everything okay and if you receive everything in the world but if you lose your salvation at the end, what is the use of it? So stop, watch and pray. May the Lord God Open your understanding and give us the heavenly wisdom to find out where we got wrong. See you tomorrow.